Hello again, FlossTube. It's Cowgirl Kate again. Um, I thought for this video I would kind of go over some of the goals that I had in mind for March. Um, you've probably heard me say before, but March has traditionally been my lavender and lace Celtic ladies that I focus on for them. So, can't wait. Um, they're they're probably my favorite lavender and lace patterns um, because out of the five, I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, you can change the colors, you can change features. I just, she really outdid herself when she designed those patterns because so many people everywhere have been having so much fun with them. So, anyway, uh, goals for March. I'll try to hold the whips up as best I can. Hopefully the camera's doing a good job of behaving for me. Um, for March, I would like to work on Lamas, or Lamas, however you say that. I would like to finish the lettering on her. And that's not a very hefty goal by any means, but I have other ones that I want to work on more. So if I get that much done on her, I'll be very happy. Um, this is the Soween conversion. And um, what I would like to do for her is just kind of work more on the borders and get those kind of figured out. Um, I'm not using Mill Hill beads entirely for her. Um, she has the original needle paints. Well, maybe you can see better on this side. Um, that's the purples in the project, um, but they're very hard to match Mill Hill beads too. So I had to go to a different brand and from there I just did them all that way, pretty much I think. So uh, I need to figure that out. Um, this is the second time I've had to start Saween. Um, <laughs> many years ago, back when I started working, um, Jasmine, the little Siamese cross kitty we have, she got very angry. She was so angry that I was gone all day and I was picking up extra shifts for other people so she planned her revenge and up until that point I never had to worry about leaving my needlework out. I mean, I've been doing it for years and she never even looked at it. But I came home one day and I couldn't find my project and uh, looking around I found it in a corner on the floor and she had ripped holes in it um, kind of like right in this area so I took it down to the LNS and they said well you could stitch over it but you know really there's nothing you can do if the you know fabric's been torn you know I thought about reweaving a thread through it, but it just, yeah, I just, I got frustrated, didn't even want to look at it, so I just restarted it. Um, I know Diana Garland designed a hat and made a Halloween sewing um, conversion that is just gorgeous. I love it, but for my set, I decided not to have a hat, I just wanted to keep it the original way that I had it, so... She doesn't have a hat for Halloween, but she's got a pumpkin, she's got a, a raven, so, you know, I'll just see about maybe some other things instead. So, if I can get her beads figured out, I will be very happy. So, that's her goal for March. This other one, um, now originally, I had planned to do the Lithia as summer originally. I even started it and I love the colors. Uh, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. It's turquoises and purples. I love it. But it just didn't seem to fit for a representation of Lithia. Um, the Celtic people in ancient times would have been worshiping the sun god. So, you know, it was summer solstice, you know, sun, light so I I needed to come up with a different color scheme and uh, features for her rather than <clears throat> berries and so forth so 
this is the newest uh, conversion for my Celtics and this is the Lithia and she's holding a sunflower and she's got kind of a sunflower themed dress uh, my goals for her for March I would like to do her skin um, get that finished it's the all my Celtics are over one so I'd like to get hers done for the month of March so if I can reach that I will be <laughs> tickled just to get that much farther on her but my main focus oh before I get to the focus I shouldn't forget this guy he's waited long enough I want to get some more done on King Cedric give him some more macho so can't forget him I might like reserve him for a weekend and just you know go guns blazing and see what how much I can get done on him for that I'd at least like to get his face done but the primary focus for March is going to be shared between the Ireland and the Scotland and we'll get to her in a little bit but for the Ireland I want to um, make a goal of working on his the horse's tail so I know how far to bring this border down and I'd like to get some threads sunk into this side of the border so I know kind of how my beads and so forth are gonna play in over there and then once I get the borders kind of figured out and mapped out where they can go then finishing the rest of their outfits and whatever is you know pretty pretty easy after that so she'll be the focus St. Patty's Day project for sure and uh, Scotland will get the remainder of the focus time so I hope to at least get for like half of the month I want to focus on her something every day to get done and then the other half of the month focus every day to get something done on Scotland and then if these others can kind of squeeze in their goals hmm, I will be a busy stitcher but let's uh, go see what Scotland's up to because I know people have been asking she is over here on the big scroll frame and it's actually a homemade scroll frame I made it back when I started cross stitching it's made of oak. Um, some friends of ours were woodworkers and I said, you know what, I need to figure something out because the scroll frames that I had were from Walmart and they were terrible. They fell over. I had I lost so much patience with them all the time. I needed to figure something out. So they said, yeah, come on over. We'll, we'll figure something out. So I went and bought an oak board and uh, just kind of based it off the little normal ones that you see in Walmart and Hobby Lobby and stuff like that and I just beefed it up uh, down here it's got wing nuts for this support bar that goes down the middle and it holds a 36 inch scroll ball frame so it's huge and um, yeah heavy it's hard to lift that sucker it ain't going nowhere um what else about it um oh yeah these I took a wood burning pencil and I burned a Celtic design down the side just to make it look even more medieval and like it had been around for you know several hundred years so there's that it also, the scroll bar itself unscrews up here. So if I don't want to use this or don't have time for it, all I have to do is unscrew the wing nuts on the sides, take the support bar out, and the whole thing folds flat. I don't have to worry about storing it, and it's going to take up a huge amount of space. And if I were to do that, this is a pillow sham, and it's got a zipper in it. And uh, the whole 36 inch um, project just slips inside and I zip it shut just like a sleeping bag. 
and nothing's going to happen to it. Oh, it's got thread all over it. That's funny. But here is the Scotland. Let me turn it to the window. You can see it better. And that's Merida with her bow. And there's Angus. He's so cool. He's my favorite feature of that project. And then the lettering. Um, if you remember Ireland, she had some shamrocks up in this area. I plan to put some thistles up there. So it'll be fun to figure that out. But the main focus I want to do for this one, for March, is I want to finish out the horse's butt and get his tail started so I know how far over before I start my border. Um, so that's going to be like my main area of um, working on this one. And if I get that, then I'm going to call it good and focus more on the other ones that have goals. So, she's the focus. Her goal comes first. So, And he, he's a lot of fun, this horse. He was a lot of fun to do. Um, he's not identical to Ireland's horse, just because it's a different breed. He's a Shire. The other one's a, a Irish hunter. So, Angus, as you can tell, he's a little thicker, more beefy kind of horse. Um, and then I'm not sure, but I might put Whisper on him just to give him the fuzz, kind of like the movie horse had. Because, you know, draft horses have a lot of fuzz. But he for sure will have um, feather in his legs. I just, I'm, not, I'm just not sure about putting it here. If it'll look nice or if it'll look kind of stupid. So, the jury's out on that yet. And I won't know until I actually put some in there to see it. So... There's the Scotland, and um, it's on linen. I have to look up what color, but I think it's an R&R &R Reproductions, and it was just a big chunk of linen, and I got it for a different project. It didn't work, so I kept it around, but the colors for her looked really good on it, so I thought, what the heck? It'll do. So, anyway, that's my goals for March. Oops, sorry. Uh, kind of a... <laughs> Kind of a big list to get through, but, you know, it's nothing wrong with having goals, even if, you know, you see them go screaming past you, but that's okay. Um, like I said, as long as I get the mangles on Ireland and Scotland, I'll be happy with that. The rest of them, you know, take it as it comes. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, preview of the March goals. Um, I'm hoping to keep on track with it, so... I will see you all in your videos and take care now. Bye.